In this video, we update from this to this, as we install the May 2019 Windows update ahead of schedule. Hello everyone and welcome to TechFix Flicks. In this tutorial, we will install version 1903 of Windows 10, otherwise known as the May Update 2019. To find your existing version information, click the Start Menu icon and type WinVer. Then click on the icon or press Enter. In this instance, we are running version 1809, build 17763.404, which is the current mainstream release at the time of this video's creation. To obtain an early version of the May Update, we are going to join the Windows Insider program, then request the lowest level of advanced content. To join the program, we again click the Start menu icon and search for Windows Insider program settings, which we click. At the next screen, we simply select the option to get started, and after a brief pause, we are presented with the option to register for the Windows Insider program, so we click to do exactly that. Joining the program will add a little extra weight to our inbox, but emails are not unduly frequent, and we click to sign up. As is typical, acceptance of the Insider Program Agreement is compulsory, and we tick to indicate our consent to the terms which we have never read, before clicking Submit to proceed. A further brief pause follows whilst registering takes place, and soon we're good to go. Now we're in a position to link our account, so we click to link. In this installation, we only have one account associated with the PC, so with that account selected, we click Continue. Another short pause follows. At the content selection screen, we can select our level of commitment. The implications for each option should be apparent, and risk increases as the list descends. As we are looking purely to nudge forward to the May update, we select the option to receive just fixes, apps and drivers, then click Confirm. Whilst it's easy to simply click Confirm and progress through the next screen, it's worth taking a moment to remember the relative risk of installing pre-release software, particularly with reports of deleted files fresh in the memory from the troubled October update. Conversely, no one wants to wait forever for new feature updates, so remember the best defence against file deletion from our previous tutorials, which have shown full system backup and imaging, as well as selective file and folder backup routines. Before continuing with this tutorial, it's our firm recommendation that you have the security of a system image in the vault. Note also that Microsoft acknowledges its use of your performance data. Having clicked Confirm, we now need to restart in order to progress, so we click to do so immediately. The system restarts and we are returned to our desktop. We again click the Start menu icon and type Up before clicking on Windows Update Settings. As we know there are updates to be had, we click to check for updates. And here we encounter minor difficulties, as we are advised that our account requires attention to receive insider preview builds. We click the message to investigate. At the screen which appears, we click Fix Me, and, after a pause, we discover that Windows will change our diagnostic privacy settings, subject to our confirmation, which we provide. Now we are in a position to download the update itself, so we again click to check for updates, and wait for the check to discover the feature update. Now we're a passenger for much of what follows, and we can certainly take a break, as first things are readied. Once fully readied, a lengthy download process begins. At its conclusion, a similarly lengthy installation phase commences. Once complete, we are offered the opportunity to restart immediately, or schedule to a time of our choosing. We proceed with an immediate restart. Our machine restarts, and again we can take a significant break as the installation happily proceeds unattended. Our screen resolution changes until our graphics processor is reinstalled, which occurs with a reset at the 30% mark. A second reset occurs in the mid-80s. At the conclusion of the configuration phase, we briefly glimpse our desktop before we are met with the usual sequence of time-filling text, before our hopes are raised and our installation is now fully concluded. We close the welcome page and gain our first sight of the new, lighter default theme. Now we can consider our future preferences for future builds by clicking on the Start menu icon and searching for Windows Insider Program Settings. Here we can choose how we wish to receive future preview builds. We retain the Release Preview setting, but your choice is entirely your own. Note that the option to stop preview builds is also selectable. As a precaution, we check for further updates. And at the time of the creation of this video, there are none. By way of confirmation, we rerun Winver which shows that we are now using build 1903, somewhat in advance of its official release. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Hopefully you found it useful. If you could provide a better, faster or more economical solution, 
let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you'd like more, you are very welcome to subscribe to the Tech Fix Flicks YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Subscription is of course entirely free and provides easy access to all of the videos posted here. Clicking on the neighbouring bell icon means you will be notified whenever a new video is posted. You can also keep in touch by following the official Tech Fix Flicks Twitter account. Until your next Tech Fix, goodbye.